Well, this project came about really because of the petroleum building. I initially wanted to do a print to document you know, the colors, those distinctive green colors of the petroleum building and the architecture from the period, and, and I thought it would make a great print. Then the, the project kind of grew from there with the design of the sesquicentennial logo. Once we finished that, and we continued to talk with the city about the plans for the 150th celebration, the screen print idea kind of evolved to be let's include more things than just the petroleum building. I got in touch with Lindsay Loy at the Gregg County Historical Museum uh, to see what type of images they would have in their archives. And luckily she had a photo of just about everything that we wanted to show. The imagery that we chose for the, for the piece basically is you know, some of the businesses and some of the, some of the things that happened in our history one of which is being uh, Osama's hitch methane. Apparently, the story, as the story goes, people from the railroad came through town and they were up on that hill where he owned his property and they looked out and said, wow, that's a long view. His face is probably one of the, my favorite things of the, of the print. Once you start printing, then it, that's where the reality starts to happen. And then this is the blue sky. Right. This is go time. The colors that you mix and you put on the paper, start, it starts to come alive. There we go. It's a building process. It's a layering process that happens one, one color, one layer at a time. And it builds up and it builds up and it builds up. And this particular project is about 25 colors. Up until the last color, you don't know what you're gonna get. And that last color you lay down, I mean, I've been printing a project and up until that last color goes down, I'm questioning whether or not it's gonna look good. And then I print that last color and it's like, that's it, it's perfect.